the big homie, the big brother. Let's get a GA back at you with another build video, man. Listen, man, I um, hope y'all enjoying y'all Sunday afternoon, and I want to wish everybody a, a very Merry Christmas, man, and, and uh, I want y'all to have a safe and happy holiday season, man. But uh, let's get right into this build, man. I'm going to bring y'all this offensive-minded Paul George build, man. I'm talking about the Indiana Pacers, uh, Paul George, the offensive-minded guy that can play defense and also play offense at an elite level. So let's go get into this build. I say position that we want to go get right here is the small forward handle this. That's personal preference. And then, you know, his jersey number, you know, PG-13. So we're going to go with jersey number uh, 13. Continuing on uh, with the uh, height. <clears throat> the height that we want to go with is six foot seven. Six foot seven is the height that you want to go with. Uh, the weight, you want to take that all the way down to 200 pounds. And then your wingspan, you want to put it at a 6'10 wingspan right here. And uh, body shape, that's personal preference, but I like the fine. So we're going to go with the fine. Uh, the close shot that you want to go with right here is uh, at 54. Your driving, li your driving layup, you want to put that at a 77 right here, fellas. Right there. And your driver dunk, obviously you want to take that to a 92 to get those elite contact dunks. Right there, they go, that's going to give us 17 uh, finishing badges. <clears throat> As you can see right here, with are the to uh, badges and stuff like that. That stuff right there. You're able to get, you know, gold, uh, not gold, but a uh, silver acrobat. You know, Hall of Fame slivery finisher, you know, uh, put back boss, you know, for all my guys that like to, you know, catch the ball off the rim, you know, Hall of, not Hall of Fame, uh, but gold posterizer, uh, gold live city finisher, so you get, you know, 17 defensive badges, I mean, excuse me, finishing badges, so it's not bad right here, we're going to go ahead and go down to the shooting, uh, with your mid-range, you want to take that to an 84, because, you know, I've I, I really been in the lab working on this stuff right here, man. We'll take it to an 84. Your three point, you want to max that out. Completely max it out. That's going to take it to an 86. And your free throw, you want to put that right here at 90. Right there, that's going to give us 20, that's going to give us 27 uh, uh, shooting badges. And as you can see, you're able to get catch and show, uh, catch and shoot on gold, corner specials on gold, circus threes. If you know, if you play like that, but it's you know, this is personally my play style. This is a good setup for me. Uh, gold limitless spot up, you know, gold stop and pop, you know, uh, difficult shots on gold. You like to shoot fades and, you know, do your euros within the paint because you'll be able to finish with this build in the paint at a pretty high rate. And also it gives you, you know, slithery off ball on Hall of Fame. So that's not bad. Going out to the playmaking, your pass accuracy, you want to take this thing all the way to a 97. 97. right there now this would that now this what it gives you this what it gives you right here guys 97 at, at uh 97 pass accuracy hall of fame bullet pass and you playing small forward hall of fame bellow hall of fame break starter gold floor general gold diamond post playmaker on hall of fame needle threader on hall of fame special delivery hall of fame that's hey it gets better your ball handler you want to obviously you want to max that out to an 85 with an 85 ball handle all, you know, everybody knows you know all you need is an 80 to get access to the pro driven moves but you'll be able to get access to the elite pro driven moves right here hall of fame glue hands uh hall of fame uh like i said bailout uh gives you silver unpluckable uh tight handles you know i personally like tight handles and hyperdrive those two badges go hand in hand together you know and you know it's, it's not bad and then the speed with ball you know you want to max this out at a 76 it gives us 29 playmaking badges at the small forward position so you'll be able to handle the rock shoot lights out and also finish at the rim at the elite level <clears throat> now we're going to go down here to the defensive badge we're not going to worry about interior because you're not going to be in the paint uh your interior, I'm just giving that your interior, but your perimeter, you want to take that all the way to a 90. Right there, you're still, you want to put that up to an 87. 
get blocked. We ain't gonna really worry about that. We're gonna, we gonna come back to it, guys. We're gonna come back to it. Let's go down here to the to the uh, physicals. The speed, you wanna max that in 89, I mean 79, acceleration, you wanna max that out as well. Your vert, you wanna put this at an 80, and your stamina, you wanna put that at a 90. Now, going back up to the defensive badges, you're really not gonna be in the paint like that, but since we got some extra badge points, right here we're gonna put the offense, I mean not the offense, but the defensive rebound, you wanna put that up to a 67, and then that's pretty much it and then you know the extra badge points that you have left let's go with mm. putting on free throw pretty much you, you you got some weird room to play with right here to be honest with you um Right there. Well, now let's let's do it like this. Let's do it like this, fellas. Let's do it like this. Put your stamina up to a 90. Right there. Let's do it just like that. So these are the stats right here. 15 defensive badges. You still got access to Hall of Fame pick dodger, Hall of Fame off the on piss, Hall of Fame tireless defender, gold ankle braces, Hall of Fame hustler, gold interceptor. You know, if you ever get, if, if you use this badge, I don't personally use it, but you know, if you want to use it for your team or whatever mode you play on, you, you ever get to get access to Hall of Fame defensive leader, and then also you need, you know, clamp so you can get that up to go. So it gives you 15 defensive badges, 29 playmaking, 27 shooting badges, 17 finishing. So it's, it's the badge layout and the attributes that they give you is it's, it's, it's not bad. And as far as, you know, it's an offensive minded build. So me personally, I would, you know, put it on the anchor breaker, sh anchor breaker shots, you know, as my primary. And being that you can shoot from lights out, I definitely would go with, with spot up position. That's what I would go with. And then when you finish the build up, <clears throat> See right here gives you a two-way threat with shades of pager Mikhail bridges and obviously paul george so if you guys enjoyed this build video man don't hesitate to drop a like uh leave a comment subscribe if you're new to the channel i appreciate you guys taking the time and, and checking out this build video this is the big homie the big brother let's get it ga and i will get it y'all at the next one man go on.